If you place text in a page text area of a folder in Angel, that text will appear as a page in Desire to Learn. If you would like to continue using this text, you will need to copy and paste it into the description for the module or the submodule. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead to my uh, the Angel course that has been migrated, and I'm going to go ahead into this folder, this module one folder. Now, keeping in mind, the folder will become a module in Desire to Learn, but the text that's at the top here. So if I go to the settings of this folder, you'll notice this page text in here. And it's very, very useful page text, I mean, because it will help the students understand what they have to do for this particular module. But the problem is, this will come across as a page of text and not as a description within the module in Desire to Learn. So what I want to show you, if you want to continue to use it in the same way, how you would then fix it. It's a very simple process. To get to the content, you would click on the content prompt down, click content, get into the course. And I'm going to go ahead and collapse all of the modules here just to make it easier for me to find things. Um, and I'm actually going to click on module one. So if I click on module one, you'll notice that in module one, I have this thing called module one, module one notes, and then there's something called a subfolder. That's how you know that there's a subfolder right here. If I go back to Angel, notice that you have the module one notes, the folder, which becomes a subfolder, and a discussion. And you'll see the discussion comes across with everything that you need in there. What I'm looking for is that page text. I'm looking for this text here. Well, this text becomes a page or a web page within Desire to Learn. And if I want to use it in the same way, which again I think is very useful from an instructional design perspective, so the students have an idea of what this module needs to, what you need to do in this module, it's a very simple process of just simply highlighting all of the text, right click and copy or control C. I go back to module one using my breadcrumb links, and you'll notice that on module one there is something called add a description. One of the nice things in Desire to Learn is that when you put your mouse over any one of these items, you can actually click on it and edit it in place. You don't have to really go anywhere else. And then what you need to do is just right click and paste. And there's my text. And then I click update. And then that becomes the description. Then all I need to do is click on the actions menu here and delete this topic. Uh, and I can, again, I want to permanently delete the content associated files because I don't want to have that extra file sitting in my, so my file manager area and taking up space. It's not needed. So now, as you see, this comes, becomes the page text and used in the same way the student would have to know, read the introduction, review the module notes, and understand what they have to do for this specific module.